2018. Six people were arrested last summer and the couple's remains were found in Coachella in October. The case has baffled the community for three years. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco says they've conducted hundreds of interviews and served over 50 search warrants related to the case. Now investigators say the suspects knew Jonathan and Audrey. Bianco says his investigators found evidence linking the murders to homes in Indio and Coachella. There's so many questions that still remain unanswered, like why would that couple be murdered? And how could so many people keep those murders a secret for so long? And today, as the preliminary hearing got underway, it appeared like we'd have to wait a little longer for those answers. Our Kitty Alvarado was the only reporter inside the courtroom and has details. Four years after Jonathan Darling Reynoso and Audrey Moran went missing from the Coachella Valley, the six defendants charged with their murders were supposed to face a judge in a Riverside courtroom for a preliminary hearing. We need to come to order. Court now session. Abraham Fragoso, Manuel Rios, Eric Rios, Jesus Ruiz Jr., Aaron Bernal, and Adeline Castañeda. Only Aaron Bernal, Manuel Rios, and Jesus Ruiz appeared. The rest waived their rights to show up to court. While those who've been seeking answers in the disappearance and murders expected this to be the beginning of finding out what happened that day in May of 2017, they will have to wait until October as the hearing was continued. Unfortunately, there was some new discovery. That Bosky Cathuria, Adeline Castaneda's attorney, says this had to be done because they haven't had a chance to review important evidence. Particularly cell phone data and DNA because DNA is essential to show um, basically the corroboration that needs to be established to prove up the case and the cell phone data is, is critical in showing um, call logs, location. Cathuria says it's important to distinguish this preliminary hearing from a trial where a jury finds a defendant is guilty or innocent. It's the first evidentiary hearing, so it's the first opportunity in a criminal case to actually hear evidence, hear testimony. Cathuria expects this typical one or two day process to last a week because of the number of defendants. It's tough enough to handle one of these cases of this type of magnitude. And when you have six co-defendants, everything takes six times as long. After all witnesses are called and evidence is presented, the judge will then decide if there's probable cause to proceed with a trial or dismiss the charges. Cathuria says he's confident charges against his client will be dismissed. I believe in her innocence. I believe she's basically caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. We reached out to Jonathan and Audrey's families. They did not want to be interviewed. Cathuria says he knows they're in pain. My heart, my thought, my prayers go out to the family. They've lost a loved one. It's an unfortunate situation because nothing's going to ever bring those people back. In many ways, Adeline is also a, um, of a type of victim in this case. In Riverside, Kitty Alvarado, NBC Palm Springs.